what I love about memoir is that solitary voice trying to learn how to be a human being. I know when I'm reading memoir that this is somebody who's creating an artificial device to communicate something to me. And yet, I feel way less lonely. Somehow telling the same story in fiction wouldn't give me as much hope. There is something about the reality of it that makes me more hopeful. Mary undoes the barbed wire. She can take this morass and make it clear pond. You have a truth that everyone shares, no matter how different your family is. And she says it in such an elegant way. When I got to college, when I got to Oberlin, it was definitely like a, have you read Liars Club? Like that was a way almost to establish currency with another female friend. Like you two both understand the world in a similar way. When I read The Liars Club uh, a long time ago, it, it really rehabilitated memoir as a, as a genre for me. But it was reading her, uh, reading Angela's Ashes, and reading uh, Nabokov Speak Memory. Those three books made me uh, realize that, hey, this can be truly beautiful, a and made me embark on my own little memoir. Mary's language was so colorful, so muscular, so funny, so uh, tender and heartbreaking and true. With a lot of books, you're just waiting to get back to the main character and everyone else seems like filler. She gives everyone equal weight and equal poetry, even to the people that she probably hates. In a memoir, you're trying to tell the truth as well as you know it. It's not that I'm saying that is going to be a perfect truth. But it's not the truth of history, it's the truth of memory. One of the things that's really challenging about doing memoir is the honesty that you have to have. In memoir, you're capturing the moment as you saw it, but there's also an obligation to capture the moment as it really was, which is not always the same thing. Subjectivity has a new authority. There's something about saying, I don't know what really happened, but this is what I remember, that I think readers trust now more than somebody coming to them saying, I have the capital T truth. What she essentially says in the book is that you can't fake this. If you're going to write a, an interesting memoir, it's not that you have to have the, had this interesting life or these amazing experiences. The main thing is that you have to have this rigorous self-inquiry and you have to be willing to put that out there. Her writing and her passion for storytelling are so electric that they just invite everyone to come along with them and suddenly memoir became a viable genre. By doing that she's kicked open the door for so many other people to write and to write well about their past. Anybody can read one of Mary's books and anyone can relate to, to her books. There's a kind of constraint and balance that's very elegant and very unusual in, in, in memoir writing and in literary memoir writing especially. I was reading almost each chapter like a Dharma talk uh, about how to get back to your past and how to have a voice and how to deal with hard situations. It's almost therapy in motion. So this is a book certainly for people who love memoir but it's not in any way a how-to book. It's a book for anybody who has a family or an inner life. Anybody sort of interested in rooting around. History doesn't repeat itself, but it rhymes. I think anybody who writes seriously about their life, you're finding those rhymes. You're finding those repeating truths that are sometimes horrible and sometimes glorious. <laughs> <laughs>